My name is Justin Ander, and I am the organizer of Color the Creek. In the last 12 months, we've overseen the creation of 10 public murals on buildings throughout Battle Creek. Color the Creek is a community arts festival that uses the creation of public art murals to add vibrancy, create positive energy, and ignite the creative spirit in Battle Creek, Michigan. Over the span of one week, artists from New York, Chicago, Detroit, and Battle Creek use their talents to transform blighted or bland buildings into large-scale pieces of artwork. Public art is important because everyone deserves to see beauty in their day-to-day -day lives. Murals can create positive feelings, spark curiosity and introspection, while creating safe and welcoming spaces for our community. My name is David Eldred. I was born here in Battle Creek. My buddy Justin got a hold of me in the spring and told me that uh, he was going to try and get this uh, project rolling and wanted to include me in it, uh, doing doing one of the murals around town. I mostly do illustration, uh, like kind of pen and ink stuff. Uh, I've done a few kids' books, but I do murals every once in a while. I do a little, you know, painting here and there, and uh, I was just excited to to be a part of it. And um, yeah, so I. I scheduled it and flew out, and, and uh, it's a good opportunity to see family too, and just kind of reground myself when I've been gone for too long, you know. First, I think I was thinking a little in the box, a little stiffly, because I, I was trying to think like things about you know Battle Creek and like I don't know. I was uh, and and then I realized uh, when I started to look at some of the work of some of the guys that are coming in to do other other pieces around town, and and I was like, you know what? I just got to do what I do and do what I'm interested in and as long as it's like vibrant and it's interesting and it captures people's attention when they're passing like you know uh you know make some kind of an emotional statement or you know so I um my idea is um it's just this big dragon kind of thundering down from one side one panel and just bursting fire out and there's this this little kid, this just kind of innocent little kid standing on the other side of him, just like with like no fear in his face, just like kind of leaning into it. And he's blowing these uh, dandelion seeds back at him, like this big wad of flowers. And just, it's just like kind of neutralizing the flame. And uh, I don't know, I just like that idea of this, a, a kid facing something like that with like courage and, and, and innocence, you know, and, and uh, prevailing. <laughs> I just thought it was a cool idea. My name is Giselle Pugh. Um, I'm here for Color of the Creek, put together by Justin Ender. My portrait was uh, Muhammad Ali, the old photo with um, a towel over his head and butterflies and bees. Just to give a background on it, uh, I chose that just to show the, I guess I want to say, passionate side about what he stood for and still the iconic um, quote he gave out, flow like a butterfly, sting like a bee. So. All the bees and butterflies represent him and um, just the expression of the whole sport and art. My name is Justin Suarez. I am from Rochester, New York. Uh, I was asked by Justin uh, a couple months ago if I was interested in coming out, and he put the whole thing together, and, and that's how I got here. My piece is a great horned owl. And I, I typically, when I travel to paint walls in different cities, since I mostly paint wildlife, I'll try and find a species that is indigenous to that area so that it's something that people could potentially see in their backyard. It doesn't change the economy, but it does make the living space a lot more enjoyable for the people that live there. Uh, and I think that there's an especially strong connection that children get to mural art uh, and it's really like the next generation that benefits from it the most and they can see their city in a, a different way. My name is Brandon Redman. I'm originally from Battle Creek, but I'm currently a fine arts student living in Grand Rapids. I was, uh, I was approached by Justin Ander last year after he put together the Color of the Creek mural festival about painting a Believe in Battle Creek mural, a little, a little hashtag we put together and we're trying to use to get people to kind of rethink Battle Creek and kind of have a little bit more hope. 
more faith in it. We were approached by the owners of the rink this year about painting another Believe in Battle Creek mural on their building before their opening. And I think art has a, has a big impact on the community. It brings people together. Around here, there's not a whole lot of art. There's not a like big uh, art community. And just like by having an event like this, it, it uh, allows that community to grow and gives it like a seed, especially uh, in a place where it was, you know, it was once thriving and it's not so much anymore. My name is Wark. I live in Brooklyn. I'm here as part of the Color Creek Festival, Paint a Mural. My imagery is based on uh, non-GMOs or uh, anti-GMOs, you know, being that we're painting in Serial City. It's important to have the discourse about GMOs and, you know, that corporations like Kellogg's, uh, ConAgra Foods, they have a responsibility uh, to not support uh, companies like Monsanto who produce GMOs and so my mural is a collage of a vintage ad of a kid eating a cereal and a tiger eating the, the kid and so what it is is that the title uh, tentatively is you are what you eat but what you eat can also eat you Art is a very powerful tool. It has the power to change the way people and perceive a place, the way um, you know people feel in a space. It takes a wall and it creates a window. Uh, I'm Syntex. I'm from Detroit. I'm here in Battle Creek. I'm painting that umami ramen, and I'm doing like some Asian freshness. We got like an Asian queen with a Buddha, some cherry blossoms, freshness. I chose mm -hmm. it because I think it's just something that kind of bring out the spot and what it is being it's a, it's a ramen spot one of having a, a asian type of theme but a lot of colors and something to kind of just set it all off i mean just saying that like you know kids seeing inspirational pictures every day inspirational they have you thinking outside the norm my name is ruben aguirre i came from chicago to paint in battle creek for color the creek um you know, we looked at locations, Justin and I, and I thought this was a really great one because it's basically what used to be a gas station, and now it's like an abandoned lot. It's basically nothing with a blank wall, and it's an interesting shape. And I, for me, it's like an ideal place to paint because it's an area that had a history. Now it's basically nothing, and I have the chance to kind of repurpose what's here and kind of play with the existing structures and, you know, kind of play with the viewer's eye, kind of play with the space, and that's really what I like to do. You know, art can impact the community in a lot of different ways. I think from, for myself, what I'm aiming for is to get people to look at public space a little differently and maybe reimagine places like where I'm painting, you know, um, areas that are kind of disregarded, kind of falling apart, you know, whether it's a fence or a bridge or, you know, a, just a slab of concrete, you know, I think a lot of those small areas get ignored. And I think it doesn't take a lot to kind of reimagine what could be on all these blank concrete walls. And I'm trying to plant a seed when I paint. So when people see, oh, hey, that's, a, that's that old dilapidated gas station wall, but now look at it, it's got this color on it, it looks weird it looks crazy you know maybe that'll get them thinking about other public spaces that they know of that maybe could use a little you know color and that's kind of the the the, the way i would like to you know uh, impact or communicate with residents